Good morning, all my faithful YouTube followers, and welcome back to Coffee Time with Corned Beef. <laughs> so, um, little thing about the last video, it ended up being like 20 minutes long. I'm going to try to cut that time down a little bit. Um, first of all, I'm pretty sure that nobody in the world likes hearing me run on for 20 minutes straight. Most of you more than likely clicked off that video <laughs> around the five minute mark or so. So this video, I'm going to try to shorten it down a little bit, try to make it five to ten minutes. But I did want to talk about a topic suggested by your boy Shabashki. We'll be putting a link in the uh, in the description box below. So y'all go check out his channel and give him some love. Uh, he wanted me to talk about what what initially inspired me to make my YouTube channel in the first place and then what inspired me to go back into it. So, it was 2016, probably. I, I was uh, 16 years old. Uh, yes, I am a 99 baby, not a 2000s baby. I don't, uh, I don't identify with, with millennials. <laughs> um... So, initially what it inspired me to do it is Jacksepticeye. So, this dude, I got really into his content. And this dude does YouTube for a job. He wakes up every day, sits down, plays a game, records it, sends it off to his editor, and that's it. He does it as a living, and I thought that, that was just the coolest shit ever. You're, you're playing games, you're entertaining people... And, you know, that's something that, that I would thoroughly enjoy doing with my life. And so I decided, you know, Rockstar added this new Rockstar editor on Xbox One. You know, I might as well. Well, what's stopping me from making a couple of little videos? So I talked to, to, my, to my dude Shabashki about this. And he decides to start him up a channel too. You know, we, we started in it together. And I thought it was the coolest shit ever. Like, I, I was I was editing my videos, putting all I had into them. I would sit there for hours a day just sitting there and editing, getting all the camera angles and the effects and the music. And it was so, so much fun. And, you know, I was doing something I loved, playing video games while I was doing it. So, uh, you know, it, it was just overall a great experience there in the beginning. It's, it still is, but, you know, in, in the beginning it was something special. Um, <laughs> and uh, Shibashi started started featuring me in his videos. He was doing the daily riddle with uh, with me and, and my boy Philip. I, man, I haven't spoke to Philip in so long. Philip, I know you watch my content, dude. You need to hit me up on Xbox sometime. I know you got that Xbox back. Uh, so <laughs> he he started doing the daily riddle with me and Philip, and <laughs> it was so cool. We we would sit there. I can't remember whose idea it initially was. I think that I was really into riddles at the time because I, I, I've always been a big Lord of the Rings nerd and I, I'd watched The Hobbit and, you know, they got that riddle scene on there where, where uh, damn, uh, fuck, I haven't watched that movie in so long. Anyway, I, old dude and Smeagol are, are playing riddles and I was really into that scene and I was actually reading off the, the riddle from Lord of the Rings to Nick. And I was like, man, well, we should do this, you know, well, I, I can't remember if it was me or him that suggested, that, that suggested the idea, but like, man, well, we should do this for YouTube, you know, we should, we should do riddles together, we'll, we'll call it the Daily Riddle, and so we, we did that, and that show was so much fun, um, and I kind of fell out of it because, so simply because I ran out of ideas, all I had at the time was the GTA 5 Rockstar Film Editor. I didn't have Xbox Live. I couldn't upload my videos to... I couldn't, like, use Upload Studio to upload to YouTube like I do these days. So... So... 
I simply just ran out of ideas. You can, you can tell I was running out of ideas by the end. My, my earlier videos were actually very good with the film editor and then uh, and then you got visitors which which ended up being a pretty funny one it, it was uh it was not intended to be <laughs> as good as it was um yeah i had visitors and cujo 2 and tank and you know stuff like that and and you know i i was just kind of bullshitting there at the very end because I, I just could not think of any of any other ideas to do um so i gave up on it for a little while and then i returned with that with that fallout new vegas video <laughs> and it was a. Uh, I was very very nervous recording that video and it felt weird you know just, just like talking into my headset, not actually talking to anybody, just, you know, talking over the video, and all in all, I think I did a, a decent job on that, you know, as much as can be expected from, you know, just, just a southern boy with crippling social anxiety, <laughs> but, you know, I decided after promising daily uploads and then never uploading again for a year, I, I, uh, I decided to just, hey, you know what? I want to get back in. I want to do it right. I've got my phone. I can make vlogs. Um, you know, I, I just kind of randomly uh, up out of the blue one day decided I wanted to get back into it. Nick was talking about rebooting his channel. And so I think that's what, that's what actually inspired me to do that is, is Shabashki talking about doing YouTube again, since we started in the beginning, I figured, you know, I can't give up on my boy now. You know what I'm saying? So I got back into that and yeah, here we are now. The rest is history. You know, that's my little short, my little short story for y'all today about, about how I got into YouTube. And my, many thanks to to your boy Shibashi for for uh, you know suggesting this to me. Uh, go check out his link, y'all, in the uh, in the comment section below. Go go give his channel some love. Um, he he does post that quality content a lot, like what you get here. He's got vlogs. He's got how to videos. He's got uh, he he does a lot of Sims three. He does stuff with yours truly, Big Daddy Corn Beef. So. You can go and watch his content to get even more of me. You know what I'm saying? So be sure to do that. And we are running about eight minutes. I'm not trying to have a two hour long upload like I did yesterday with my 20 minute video. Plus, I imagine that got a little boring, as I said. So I reckon that that just about wraps that topic up. It was it was very fun sitting down with y'all today and you know ha having this little story time. I I feel very very connected to my audience, you know, doing this kind of stuff. Hope y'all like my mug, Biloxi Beach. Love it. <laughs> uh but yeah. Let's see. What else can I say? I guess that'll that'll about wrap her up. I do have my PC ordered, and it is shipping. It should be here on May the 4th. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. I can't wait. Very, very, very special day. Star Wars Nerds Unite. So, without further ado, that'll just about wrap this up. Um, as always, thank you so much for tuning in, y'all. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Stay tuned for daily updates with coffee time and video game playthroughs and all your uh, all your uh, nerd nerdy fandom needs. You know I can go on for hours. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, take it easy, y'all. As always, this has been Coffee Time with Corn Beef. Peace.